You've tuned into the coolest show in town, 9XE The Show. So despite its busy schedule, Bollywood still manages to find some downtime to meet up with friends and chill. And when they do, 9XE The Show is right there to catch them in action. Hi guys, I'm Rahul and you're watching Wide Awake where I catch celebrities in the nights off the guard and right now I'm standing outside Karan Johar's house in Bandra and the reason I'm here is because I've got the news that Ayan Mukherjee and Ranbir Kapoor are at his place tonight and also I just spotted Anurag Kashyap going up to his place. So it's 3.30 a.m. and Anurag Kashyap, Ranbir Kapoor, Ayan Mukherjee, Aarti Shetty and Vikas Bahel just left Karan Johar's house now. I think they were celebrating the poster release of Bombay Velvet tonight. Or oh, it was just another hangout session for them. Moving. And right now I'm standing outside Olive, which is a lounge in Bandra. And I've heard that Kunal Kapoor of Rang De Basanti and Love Shafte Chicken Kurana fame is having a good time inside. So let's see if we can catch him and talk to him. Come with me. Have a Are bite, you, about what, man? Just like randomly, man. Dude, what is How was your night? I just, I was just here for dinner, man. Are you heading somewhere else right now to party? No, not really. I'm just heading back home. Why? Early morning tomorrow? Early morning, yeah. Okay. Long when do we see you on screen again? Like uh, any upcoming project? There's a, there's a film up for release now in April. Okay. Called Kaun Kitne Pani Me. Okay. So that's up soon. What is your character like? Can we can you talk about it? I mean, it's a little early to talk about it because uh, you know we haven't really gotten down to like sort of promoting it and stuff. But yeah, it is a it's a film about uh, uh, it's a really sort of it's a satire on uh, on the water issue, uh, and it's a really funny sort of take with some really crazy characters that you haven't seen before. So, so is it a take on uh, Shekhar Kapoor's Pani in a comical way? It's not, not a take on Shekhar Kapoor's Pani for sure. <laughs> How much money do you have in your wallet right now? How much money do I have? No, I don't have any money right now. I'm going to borrow some from you. Nothing at all? I'm going to borrow some so that we can pay the bill. Do you only have plastic? Yeah, only plastic. Plastic money? Yes. Alright, cool. <laughs> have a good you, time. Take See care. you. Take care. <laughs> Early to bed and early to rise is what Kunal Kapoor believes in. What a guy. I had a great time talking to him. He was not secretive at all about his work and he had no qualms in telling us that he has no money in his wallet at all. Seriously, what a guy. This was it for Wide Awake tonight. I'm Rahul and I'm signing off. Moving on, let's find out if Kamoshi Yam raised a racket at the box office and how high did Hawaii Zada fly? Here's our box office report. Hi guys, I'm Rahul and I'm here to talk about the box office collection for this week. Now before talking about the week, let's talk about the opening month of the year which is January which actually turned out to be quite disappointing at the box office. Now films like Teva, Dolly Ki Doli, Hawaii Zada and Alone which were actually expected to do well at the box office turned out to do pretty badly. In fact, the only survivor from all these films is the Akshay Kumar star of Baby which has collected approximately 70 crores after the first two weekends. In fact, what is more shocking is the film that released last year, the Amir Khan star of PK has collected approximately 340.33 crores after seven weekends. Now, industry experts are predicting that even months like February and March are not going to be that great at the box office because of the World Cup madness which is coming up soon. Now, coming back to this week, there were two releases. One is Hawaii Zada and the second one is Khamoshia. Now, Khamoshia which stars Sapna Babi, Ali Fazal and Gurmeet Chaudhary has beaten the figures of Hawaii Zada which is quite surprising. On Friday, the movie collected 1.5 crores. On Saturday, it collected 1.75 crores and on Sunday, it collected 1.75 crores approximately. So, the total weekend collection for the movie Khamoshia is approximately 5 crores. Now talking about the second movie that released this weekend that is Hawaii Zada. It stars Aishman Kurana and Pallavi Sharda. On Friday it collected 50 lakhs, on Saturday it collected 90 lakhs and on Sunday it collected 40 lakhs approximately. So the total weekend collection for the movie Hawaii Zada is approximately 1.8 crores which is actually quite a disaster for a movie like Hawaii Zada which stars Aishman Kurana which was actually expected to do well at the box office. Now that was it for this week. I shall see you next week with another box office collection report. I'm Rahul and I'm signing off. Those numbers speak for themselves, but sadly, so does Saif Ali Khan's bad luck. Like the rest of us, he must have pinned his hopes on Kabir Khan's Phantom. But he'll have to wait since the film's release date has been pushed further. 
Buzz is, it's all because the film is a lot similar to Akshay Kumar's latest release, Baby. Both Baby and Phantom have counter-terrorism operations at their heart. Here's Saif elaborating on Phantom's plot to 9XE the show. Phantom is a story of redemption. It's about a guy who's, who gets a shot at getting his getting respect back. And respect's very important to him. He's an ex-army guy and gets sent on a pretty suicidal mission to take revenge for terror acts of 2611 for the five or six major people responsible. So if they can send people in undercover to do this, why can't we send someone in undercover to kill them? Is the thought. So when the producers of Phantom Disney UTV watched Baby and they found similarities, they decided to delay the film to avoid any comparisons. Guess that makes sense. We mean, why would you want any comparisons to a film that's not set the cash registers ringing loudly? Another reason which is being spoken about is that Saif's commercial value in Bollywood is at a low and the producers are hoping that pushing the film to a later date will blow it out from public memory. So now Phantom, that co-stars Katrina Kaif, will release on August 28th. The film's original release date was October 2nd, 2014, but that would have meant a clash with Hyder and Bang Bang. Then they chose April 3rd, 2015 for the release, but the producers watched Baby around New Year and changed the date again, zeroing in on August 28th, 2015. We just hope they stick to their plan or else the film will remain as ghostly as a phantom. From that baby, which created some trouble, to one that will bring great joy. The Dale household is in a happy mood, especially Hema Malini, since she will soon be a grandmother. Ahana Dale is pregnant with her first child. 9XE The Show got in touch with sister Isha and she was super happy. <laughs> I'm very happy, very excited and we all are working hard towards a good baby shower soon. And my baby sister is having a baby, that's great news. My mother is super excited to become a grandmother and I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to becoming a, kya bol ke, maasi. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Isha told us that even Papa Darmendra could not wait to meet the new addition. Super excited, yeah. Super excited. <laughs> he, what, he's waiting. He's waiting. He, he, he loves kids. Ahana is due at the end of June and will most likely be in Delhi for the delivery. Ahana married businessman Veba Vora in February last year in a big fat wedding which was attended by most of Bollywood. 9XE The Show extends hearty congratulations to the family. So for sweet news like this and an equal share of spice, keep watching 9XE The Show. Catch cool videos on our YouTube channel and also log on to our website 9XE.com. Bye now, I'll see you guys on Friday.